Hi, it's Alatisha Kane, and I'm going to show you how to create talking bitmojis and add it to your Google Slides. This is my home screen. I am an iPhone user. To get my bitmoji to talk, I am going to use my talking pet. I downloaded the app using the App Store, but if you are an Android user, you would have to use Google's Play Store. Let's look into the app so you can see what it looks like. When you go into the App Store, click Search. In the search bar, type in My Talking Pet. On my phone, the app is the second choice. Since I've already downloaded it, I have an option to open the app. But if you are a new user, you would have to click on Get or Install. Let's get started. Before going into my Talking Pet, I am going to go into my Bitmoji app so I can find a Bitmoji that I want to talk. On my home screen, I see several options that I can choose from, but I'm looking for a close-up so I will type in smile and then search. I like this Bitmoji, so I'm going to hold it down. And when I release it, it gives me an option to save the image. Let's exit the Bitmoji app to go have some fun. Let's go into my talking pet. Let's click on the plus sign to get started. This is the emoji I want to use, so I'm going to click on the plus sign. The guides are not aligned, so I'm going to click on the tech markers automatically. From here, you can adjust the guidelines by holding down the red dots to move it. You want to pay close attention to the mouth area to make sure that everything is properly aligned. Once you are satisfied with the guidelines, press the check. And now it's time to record. Hi, it's Alatisha Kane, and I'm going to show you how to create a talking bitmoji. You can play your selection to see if you like it, and you can also adjust the pitch. Once you are satisfied with how your Bitmoji talks, click on the Save Share button. Click on the arrow and select Save. Now I'm going to retrieve my talking bitmoji from my camera roll. It is this first selection, and since I am a Mac user, I'm going to airdrop this image to my MacBook. If you don't have this option, you can email it to yourself. My video clip was sent to my downloads, so I am going to rename it by right-clicking it and selecting Rename. I'm going to call it Talking Bitmoji. I am going to put this file into my Google Drive so I can upload it into a Google Slide. To easily find it, I am going to click and drag the file to my desktop. Now, let's go into my drive. Once I'm in my Google Drive, I will click and drag my file and put it into my audio folder. My audio file is already set up, so whatever is in here, it is already shareable to whoever opens my file. We're finally ready to add our talking bitmoji onto our Google Slide. 
I'm going to use a cute classroom that was created by Carissa Stewart. She is one of the moderators for our Facebook group, Remoji Craze for Educators. I have modified the scene to add a flat screen TV to add my talking bitmoji to that area. To add my talking bitmoji, I'm going to go to Insert, Video, Google Drive, and then make my selection. I will adjust this video to fit into the TV. And now my talking bitmoji is ready for anyone to see. Let's test it out by pressing present. Teacher Kelly, and I'm going to show you how to create a talking bitmoji. Thanks for watching my video. Subscribe to Bitmoji Craze for Educators for more videos to come. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you the next time with more videos. Have a good day.